Hello everybody, my name is Momo. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich as Middle Africa. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, uh, Lithuania has declared their independence from Germany. They're going to get uh, completely get their face kicked in because there's no way they can possibly fight against the entirety of the, uh, the Reich's Pact. Iron Guard Romania is trying to nationalize their oil industry, which might also bring them into conflict with the German Empire, which is going to be a little bit uh, worrying because, one, um, well, somehow... I, I don't know how Serbia got this territory, but um, there's no border between I Romania and the German Empire. I mean, normally they would have through uh, Ukraine, but clearly that is not the case because uh, Ukraine has kind of done their own thing. The Russian Republic is also still kind of in an interesting situation, a nationalist victory in South Africa. That's fine. Doesn't really, yeah, like there's no point to join the war. Lithuania is already dead. The Commune of France has deployed two nice little infantry to help uh, Lithuania. Again, you know, they are national populist. They are syndicalist, but I guess, you know, it doesn't really matter too much. You know, they both hate Germany. I guess that is reason enough to ally. A sovereign state. Established Alliance Society. It's going to take 70 days. A sovereign state with conquering uh, recent success in a legal battle against the Kaiser. Many of the NKR's former leaders have left uh, for von Guren's new faction within the Middle African administration. Uh, who argued the MAF should be a sovereign state ruled by its Stahlhalter and an even more radical uh, than the NKR internal issues. Interesting development. So. Okay. Sovereignists dominate. Uh, I already knew this because this is actually me. Um... So we'll see if... Okay, somebody's been replaced. Not a big deal. I I'm, I'm sure nothing bad will happen. We're 52% party popularity, so that means things have to be going uh, all well and according to plan. At least that's my hope. Okay, so German Empire, yeah, Lithuania has been annexed. Again, to the surprise of absolutely nobody. And now there's a little, uh, a little Romania. A little, little uh, Lithuania, I should say. He was back, ready to go. So good work on, um, your brief stint with independence, I guess. It didn't last very long. Kingdom of Greece has joined the Entente. Yes, we're, we're really getting into, like, a really interesting, uh, political situation here. But you actually, you're still at war. I thought, I thought the war with the uh, Legionary Italy had actually ended, but apparently not. So I wonder what's... I, you know, it's just, it's a, it's an interesting situation. Because right now, the way I see it, the, um... The third international is just gonna die. There is... I feel no hope for them. Uh, so it's 1930, it's mid 1938. So let's start getting the uh, 1939 tax uh, right now. I feel like it's probably okay and not a uh, huge concern. South Africa, they still have uh, they're trying to slightly more troops, but I'm still not actually worried about them. There's even election in May 1943. So who's winning in how many wars there are right now? Like there's actually like a ton. Triple Atania. Oh, yeah, I guess they're also, yeah, we're here. 11,000. I mean, they've lost more men. They have less men on the field, probably. And, you know, they're also fighting in this massive, like, this is a huge front line. Like, an absolute massive front line for a country to have to fight against. So, I mean, we'll see. The Trans Canada Airlines. Are you planning on doing anything? Um, they've already reinforced the Empire. Homecoming plan. They got their alliance with Portugal, so they're already able um, to attack the Union of Britain. They have a treaty with Germany, which I, I guess would basically just be a. Um, like a two-front war. Or just calling Germany into a faction, having one big uh, Entente-German alliance to fight against the uh, Syndicalist. 
Again, like, they're, they're definitely not going to win. But I also definitely want to make sure that the Entente don't win either. We have 20 more days until we can establish the Lion Society. No idea what that actually entails. What battle plans have no units assigned? You're all assigned to this plan. Oh, yeah, this one down here. Never mind. Yeah, we can, we can delete that. That's not a... It's not a big problem. We're still missing 9.3 thousand guns. That's going to be done in 366 days, so just over a year. We have artillery. We're not actually using the artillery quite yet. Uh, we are building a little bit. Uh, let's just delete the motorized divisions for now. I can add in a support artillery. Organization goes down a little bit, but the, um, the attack values go up. A very decent amount. So let's start adding artillery to all of these units. Now we are missing uh, 106, but that should be fine. We'll get those before we even have enough guns for everybody. Yeah, they're going to lose a little bit of experience. You know, just a, just a tiny amount. But not enough that I think you basically will get the experience back after like one battle. So it's not really a huge concern. Apparently it's 31 degrees right now in... Uh, is that Togo? Yeah, it's... Just Boiling hot. Oh, the South African Revolt. What is going on down here? Very interesting. Maybe we can actually uh, make use of this confusing situation they've now uh, brought upon themselves. South African Revolt has declared war on the Union of South Africa, so I'm assuming they are too nationalist for them. They're a little bit upset about that. I mean, we might have an opp opportunity to actually intervene into the war. And I, I might say yes. You know? There might be something in it for us. So, look around at 7 to 15 divisions. I mean, they've got, like, significantly more troops. Yes. Let us send aid to the Union of South Africa. South African Civil War. I mean, they do. we do like them. We support their side in the war. Uh, different ideology, fine, whatever. Let's go for... You know, let's not go down this street right now. I don't want to lose massive stability, at least for the moment. An extra research slot would not be bad. I mean, that's two research slots, actually, like, really in quick succession. Let's go for the research slot. That doesn't give us social liberalism. Because why would we want that? So you have... Can I send volunteers to you? No, not until I actually deploy one more troop. And I can deploy one troop now. Which I'm going to do. How many men can I send as volunteers? Because I'm going to try to send my best men. I'm assuming two. Oh, we're only allowed to add one. Okay. Right. You go back on this front. Uh, I'm going to assign you to uh, whoever has the highest attack values. And then I'm going to send volunteers. We'll send them one division. I, and, you know, it's one player led division. So, you know, that's that, that's like the price of like five divisions normally. So, where is their capital right now? Their capital is in uh, Pretoria. I think that's where our troops will deploy. Uh, but it already looks like you are uh, having some issues. You know, you have a lot of civilian factories, but you don't have a lot of um, Serbia's clear world that came hungry. Why would you do this? So you've brought yourself. Okay, you've brought the Austro Hungarian Empire into a two front war against the Italians as well as the, um, the Belgrade Pact. So we'll see how this kind of uh, ends up. But my guess is it's going to be bad. When do you actually uh, arrive? You'll arrive on the 22nd of August. Okay, fantastic. When you've arrived, then we're immediately under attack. So we're going to try to move our troops down towards Cape Town. Yeah, your army is not very big. One, two, three. We got small troops down here. Again, if I can actually shrink their front line for them. You know, deal with this little pocket. Then hopefully we can maybe get something done.
They'll be there in three days. Okay, there are some people there. Uh, retaliation for the Black Dossier. Our administration maintained its now sovereign rule only by the skin of our teeth. The corrupt inquiry has been seen by Von Goering and many of the senior officials uh, spend the rest of their lives in jail. Uh, we now have opportunity to return the favor. All the official retaliation would be difficult. We can use our growing criminal network, the Lion Society, to seek retaliation against the conspirators and reinforce our rule in Middle Africa. Absolutely, vengeance is mine. How dare you try to uh, subvert my rule? Absolutely, it's not allowed. I'll send in my soldiers that look like they're wearing clay on them. It's a good time for all. Okay, so you guys are going to die. That's fantastic. Um, let's get two military factories. We got an extra research slot. We'll use that for something. Uh, let's go for some decryption. Plus one. 105 days. Not too bad. We'll kill off this little pocket, which will give South Africa, or the Union of South Africa, I should say, some more control. You know, you guys are... Uh, are you guys fine with that? I mean, probably. Okay, there are two troops there now. But they have... I mean, they should be running out of supplies soon. They're not considered surrounded because, for some reason, uh, this is here. Like, uh, because we're bordering them on this side. They're not considered surrounded. Again, I don't know how that makes sense because clearly uh, we're not allowing our troops into our borders. But whatever. Okay, that battle's won. You can deal with that on your own. I'm going to go reinforce somewhere else that actually probably needs the assistance. The Mishika kid. Oh. The Ottomans are actually pushing them back. Okay. Have they just, like, trained up a lot more troops? The answer is not really, but I'm guessing they're, um, the AI is just bad. <laughs> or I guess not, maybe not coordinated is the right word. Okay, that's in heavy mountains. We don't want to be uh, engaging there. So let's go over here. Let's go through the uh, desert. Go. Let's try to take over Cape Town. I think that would probably be in our best interest. Yeah, already Union South Africa is doing pretty well. South African Revolt has taken plenty of casualties. We'll send in our reinforcements. These guys hopefully will be able to push their way down south. I can't interact or send more troops than I possibly can. It'll be like, I would like more troops in the north. I wonder if helping them in the war will actually be able to demand territory, something like that. That would be nice. We're at 21% stability. Is stability actually taking up right now? Weekly change point two. That's quite nice. Our stability is making our stability go up higher. Uh, sure, why not? Turkish could not declare war on the Alash order. I mean, sure. You know, whatever. It'd be nice if we actually opened up a another front against the Russians, because we don't want Russia involved, because um, there's no way for Russia to actually be involved on the, our side. They removed the they removed the possibility for Russia to aid the Reichspact, so Russia can really only be an enemy of ours. Okay, let's end the Protectorates right now. I'm sure that will go over very smoothly. Right. Keep on sending our soldiers through. In our nice clay uniforms. Again, these are all mountaineering divisions. We'll be able to get there before the... Um, I mean, I know they're not really the British, but... The equivalent of the British. So political power cost, factory output goes down. But our, our party, party popularity goes up by 5%. But I don't think that's actually very important. So we're just going to ignore it for now. I don't want to actually fight anybody. At least not for the time being. Okay, this guy's been cut off. There's no way that the... Um, the South African Revolt is going to win. Like, there's not even... Like, not even the slightest chance in hell. Of course, that is excellent for us. I guess you're in the rice pack now, so I can't really demand Spanish uh, colonies. Which is disappointing. Now I kind of wish Spain went into its own civil war. Has the Netherlands gone? Okay, they're still social democratic, so they have not uh, flipped to a more extreme ideology. 
So I think the CSA is actually going to lose in um, America. 1.13 million, way more than the American Union state has taken. We might actually want to send volunteers to the, uh, the American Union state as well. Just to make sure our boy uh, Huey Long can maybe uh, capitulate the Syndicalist and then capitulate the Pacific states. You know, just smashing a democracy in the face because that's what it deserves. They got more unassigned divisions, put them up to the north where they need to be. No, just be ready, just in case anything bad happens. Okay, Cape Town is so close in our grasp. How long for us to actually get to Cape Town? Our first target. Um, our first suspect of the Black Dossier is Gorge Kraut, one of the Von Litt Vurbeck's most trusted officials during the Weltkrieg. Uh, he is well respected for this reason, is likely uh, gave his blessing to the project. He's already quite old and would be perhaps easier and less efficient to induce his retirement than to kill him. How dare you? How dare you rise up against me? Okay, so that guy is now completely cut off. We're about to take over Cape Town, which might be the end of the war here. Uh, we shall see. I mean, they own 64%. You're worth 10, you're worth 2. We probably need both anyways. Okay, Tape Town is about to fall. I'm guessing that was not enough for the capitulation. N no, because they need to get down to 10%. Jeez. I mean, if this was a 20 state, uh, 20% fair, then yeah, it already worked. Would have worked out. So the fall of Chicago. So the Senate, yeah, the Senate are definitely going to lose. They've already lost their capital. Um, I mean, they're still, they're still in control of Washington, which is, I mean, not too bad for them, but they're definitely going to lose. Yeah, so this guy's getting a little bit of experience, and uh, yeah, we'll probably ship him off to aid the AUS. Are you marching towards Port Elizabeth? All right, Romania has capitulated, so, you know, Austro-Hungary is just going to be stronger than it was before. Yeah, the King of Hungary is just massive now. Serbia is definitely going to die. I don't know what their plan was, because their plan, I'm pretty sure, uh... What shit? Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised the Legionary Italian War is still going on as much as it is. Lost 196,000. I mean, they've killed a lot of Austrians. So, I mean, good work for them, I guess? But they're still definitely going to lose at some point. Again, assuming that um, they don't try to break away. Or that uh, Hungary and them don't try to break away from Austria, which is entirely possible. Zero at twelve percent. I mean, this this war is still be going on. AOG has lost so many men. Yeah, we've gotten some better rifles. Let's upgrade our guns, and we can modify our government. Uh, I'm not going to change any of this because um, one of our focuses changes this automatically. We don't need more recruitment. Let's actually, can we have um, just somebody, uh, you know, attack and defense, vision speed, organization recovery, school of mass combat. Let's go for the school of, um, let's go for you. Yeah, there's actually a lot of guys defending that one area. Which is not great. How are you going like, to go try to kill this guy instead of him just letting him take over more territory? You know, at least that's what I would have done. Maybe I'm just uh, a fool, though. Okay, so let us upgrade our industry to be uh, even better than it was before. But I think it's going to be a good time to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, give a thumbs up. If not, enjoy, you can always thumb down. You can always more subscribe, and goodbye.